So, um, I don't really know what to talk about today. Gwen, Gwen, you've got to come. You've got to come. You've got to see this. No, bring the camera. Bring the camera. Bring the camera. Bring the camera. And what were you thinking of coming here in the first place? And on top of that, coming here and declaring yourself to be earnest. I created Ernest, sir. I created him so I could have my little products in the city and then come back to my ideal little country life with sweet, simple, impressionable Cecily. You, you have taken the biscuit with this sunshine. Well, after you left your engraved business card case at my place and we discussed it, don't you think that I would want to find out a bit more about the mysterious Cecily? So you stalked her on Facebook. Have you no dignity? That's what it was invented for. Need I remind you about how you, uh, your obsession with the clever and thoroughly experienced Gwendolyn started out? Well, you practically forced me to see her Facebook. Well, I didn't intend for you to drool over her like some infatuated puppy. And haven't I been a good friend to you? Didn't I? I've pretty much assured that she would fall in love with your stupid ass. I, I practically made it easy for you. You know Gwen usually goes for the thrilling and passionate guys. A few years ago, she wouldn't have had any interest in someone like you. Would you <laughs> stop insulting me? You're still in my house! Yes, still here! Why? Yes, why? Why are you here? Why haven't you gone yet? I mean, I suppose you think this situation is typical Bunbury, yes? This Bunburying, as you call it, has not been a great success. Yes, it has. This has been the most perfectly wonderful Bunburying I've ever done. Uh, I'm in love with Cecily, and that's... That's everything. You have absolutely no right to Bunbury here. I can Bunbury wherever I choose to. Every serious Bunburyist, or, or Bunburyist, knows that. Serious Bunburyist? Or Bunburyist. The art of Bunbury. You never talk anything but nonsense, do you? Well, it's better than having to listen to nonsense. I don't understand how you can be calmly eating muffins when we're in such trouble. Can't eat muffins in an agitated man. It would, it would make a horrible mess. I can, this is the way to eat muffins is to eat them calmly. I say you're perfectly heartless eating muffins at all under the circumstances. I'm upset. When I'm upset, I get hungry. I like muffins. I don't like eating muffins. There's no reason whatsoever that you should eat them all by yourself. Can't you take a tea cake or something instead? Well, excuse me! My God! Let a man eat his own muffin in his own house! You just said it was perfectly heartless. Well, yes. I said it was perfectly horrible that you were eating muffins under the circumstances. When are you leaving? Can I have dinner first? You cannot have bloody dinner! You've eaten all my muffin! You can't ask me to leave before I've had any dinner, that's absurd. No one ever leaves anywhere before they've had dinner except for vegetarians. You're eating my muffins again. Oh, please just leave. I can't until I've had my tea. And there's only one muffin left, just about. This was a Darjeeling elephant.